Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about his and her feelings and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. So let's see what your energy is Virgo and uh, the other person is who you are thinking of, your romantic love connection partner, someone you feel in love with. On your side, Virgo, I've got the buffalo with abundance. You are provided for in all ways. So you could be worried about this, or you are already in the, in the state of abundance. But either way, you are focusing on your work, on your money more than on this love situation. Let's see, what is the energy of your person right now? What is their energy? We've got three cards showing up for them. The hawk with guidance, the cat with confidence, and the mammoth with primal instinct. Okay, very interesting. So what comes to me straight away? You are the buffalo, they are the mammoth. And the mammoth can be very powerful, but they don't exist anymore. So it's like your person lives in a world which is more like a dream world. And um, this primal instinct is like something ancient, something very old within them. They are receiving guidance. They are very confident. But this primal instinct... I don't know whether it's positive or negative. We will find out whether it's a good thing or not. So Virgo, you are starting the conversation today. Let's see what is showing up. This card really wants to fly out. Yeah, you are feeling um, like you were hurt in the past, but you are taking these swords out of your back one by one you could have been hurt by this person uh, every time when they broke your heart. You forgave them. You started anew with them. And uh, now you are in this high priestess energy and broken hearted once more. So you are really listening to your intuition, listening within, listening to your guidance that you are receiving from your spirit team. Let's see. Okay, all cards are reversed on your side. We've got the Queen of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed. <clears throat> so I feel these two are related, the Queen of Wands is reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. You don't want to um, engage with this person on this um, passionate uh, level like uh, it's like physical attraction level and the empress reversed is about lack of action and inspiration so i feel this is towards your person this is not in uh, all areas of your life because you are working towards abundance but I feel that you either lost interest in your person or um, temporarily you are draw withdrawing so you can heal. Uh, you know where you are. So let's see about your love interest. Let's see what they have to say. There is the Sun card, positivity, the Four of Wands, one more please, just one more. 
Okay, that's two turning around, two flying out. So they have a lot to say. Okay. So what I can see here, Virgo, is the Sun card is standing, the Four of Wands is reversed. So they don't want to take this to the next level, but they do feel happy when the two of you connect. Now we've got the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups reversed. I feel these are coming this way. Uh, so they do feel that they failed. So they are retreating and the two of cups reverse this breakup and separation. So they are really uh, stepping away from this connection. And then we've got collaboration and regret failure with the five of cups, three of pentacles and five of cups. So I think they feel they messed it up. Something happened here. Your side is the four of one standing which is um, stability and uh, big milestones. The temperance. Uh, this is about um, weighing out what to do and the uh, high priestess. There is a change happening and um, you are aware of it. So far you could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Or, oh, sorry, we also have the temperance, Sagittarius energy and Cancer with the High Priestess. Right, so let's see what they say. Knight of Pentacles, the Death card, oops, and Page of Pentacles. So I feel that your person, although they are withdrawing their energy, they are not standing down. Let me just see if I can show you more cards. For some reason, it's not in the right position. Right. Better. Okay. And uh, they are hoping to transition and being able to bring you an offer. It's ongoing. And you say, King of Wands. So you are still focusing on your success and taking steps towards it. The Word card. Um, for you, it feels like this cycle ended with your person. And we've got the, what is this? The Three of Wands. Uh, so Virgo, what I can feel here is your person behaved in a way that you didn't expect them to behave. And it was a shock to you. They now noticed that they have done something wrong here and they are trying to correct things within themselves. But you feel like if this is what this person can offer, I'm not interested in it. So you truly turned away from the love side and you are focusing on your abundance. Your person is in this hermit energy. So they are journeying within. Uh, this is the strength card. Um, I feel that they are, are resilient. They have been through tough times um, and they will be okay. It's not a new thing to them to suffer, to struggle. And uh, that is the king of wands. So I feel that they are optimistic about the future with you. Leo is showing up again and the hermit card now representing another Virgo you could be dealing with. And you say you are moving on. You are not waiting around for this person anymore. Six of Pentacles, you want this to be equally, equal. You two need to be equal in a connection for you to be interested in it. And the Wheel of Fortune, the change, the change is 
uh, important here and also destiny so you feel like if it is destined to be it will work out for now you are leaving it alone let's see about them the star they are hoping that things will restart between the two of you again this is the seven of pentacles so they want to sow the seeds for um, the future to start within to transition and uh, then they have the seven of wands uh, so they are in a defending mode protecting themselves right now okay and you say knight of cups um hold on let me see what else is coming the chariot and the eight of pentacles oh this is interesting so you are focusing on your career to move move that forward to work towards your abundance and you are putting that love like channeling the love that you have for them into your work their side is the queen of pentacles with the nine of swords and the queen of swords okay so they like your loving caring nurturing nature but you set your boundaries really strictly so now they are worried how they are going to continue with you they could feel really low very down on themselves your side is the grief five of cups with the tower and the six of cups so this person obviously means a lot to you virgo and this shift is this change is happening in every area of your life and this is there to shake off what doesn't belong there and who doesn't belong there so i feel that you are reminiscing about your person you would love the two of you to be together but you are um, letting the universe do its work so if it's meant to be it will be <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> if not that you are just letting it go because as it stands <clears throat> your person is not who you would like to be with you could be dealing with an Aquarius Cancer um, Sagittarius Aries Capricorn yeah so the main thing here it looks like that your person messed up you already are focusing on what you can control and that's your finances your abundance your work um, self-love everything that you can control in your own life and you know that this person hurt you you are trying to stand up from that uh, withdrawing from them detaching from them and uh, hoping that it's not the end but the way they are at the moment you don't want them they possibly mistreated you so let's ask the Island Time Love Oracle about this. Dating reversed. What else? The Grim Reaper. And not today. The snake is the bottom of the deck. And I feel this time it could be a, the other woman, but it's more about um, your 
person behaving in a toxic way. That's what the snake is about. The dating is reversed. So you are not even interested in anyone else right now in love. The Grim Reaper is about the relationship is over. Grow and transform your life. And that's what you are doing. And not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation. So and the boundaries are showing up here. And still angry. Your person is angry. Possibly at themselves that they messed up. Or could be at you. Uh, we can find out in the extended. So Virgo, it looks like for now you settled in this energy of it's done, it's over. You, you can't deal with this anymore. And um, your person is not ready to move towards you anyway. I don't know whether it is um, the end. I don't think. Because the four of ones showed up on both sides. It, it can be a twin flame connection. Cycles. Uh, happening in this connection but for now it is over thank you so much for being here liking sharing subscribing and commenting and if you would like to see the extended then there is a one-off link in the description box or you are very welcome to join patreon if you are already a member you will receive um, the extended straight away i am sending you lots of love take care bye for now